Hey guys, I just want to take an opportunity this afternoon to do sort of a sit down, uh, face to face, oh thank you, chit chat. Um, we've just kind of got a regular uh, day going on around here, so not much going on, so I thought we'd take this opportunity to sit down and talk to you guys. Yesterday was actually our four month anniversary of being on the road, so we've been on the road since November 6th, and we've been living in our in our camper for three years prior to that. Three, three months. months, sorry, not three years. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, definitely not three years, three months. Um, <laughs> so if you haven't heard or gone on our website or checked out some of our very first videos to hear that story, check out our website, read some of our journal entries and kind of our story to get that background there. Uh, website's down below in the description. But just want to take this opportunity to sit down and I'm calling it I'm calling it a let's get real, uh, real life impressions after four months on the road. So I thought Talina and I would just sit down and talk and just kind of lay it out for you guys, the real life, the real deal of what it's like to travel, at least for the first four months. Or at least for us. For us, yeah. And these, of course, are our personal opinions and based on our experiences and our thoughts and our feelings, so. And our reasons for doing this. Yeah. And so that's a good point to jump into it. The reasons or the impetus behind this, I think, was different for me than it was for you. Mm -hmm. I mean, me personally, I was kind of, I felt like I was kind of stuck in a rut where I was working 60 hours a week and never really had time with you or the kids. I think I felt like you guys kind of had your separate life and I would kind of float into it on the weekends or on the evenings and stuff <laughs> but but that was about it and I didn't want that to be my life I mean we did that for 12 years and that was great and that's great for some people if that's what they want to do but that's not what I wanted I wanted to be part of my kids life I wanted to learn with them and explore with them and teach them and experience life with them because we you know with the job you had didn't allow that either. No, it didn't. And we could have explored different jobs, in which we might go back and do. Oh, but... absolutely. This isn't isn't necessarily the only way to do yeah. to get more time with your family. This might be kind of drastic in that regard, but this is what an option that we chose and a, a thing that we're a journey that we're taking. So that was sort of my impetus to be able to spend more time and be in my kids lives and be with my wife and because you missed every christmas program every parent teacher conference every soccer practice games if i didn't make sure it was a group that did on the weekends um yeah like you missed out on a lot of those first few years of school mm -hmm. with them so that was my my impetus to starting this journey and to doing this with my family and I know sort of I'm the main main character in this or the main driving reason but you have your your own reasons right to yeah to do this with me to yeah. em embrace my crazy idea here <laughs> <laughs> um yeah it for me I was fulfilled. I stayed home. I mean, there's no better job than being able to stay home with your kids and had stayed home for, I keep on to say 10 years, but our daughter's 10, so it was 12 years. Mm -hmm. And so I was grateful and loved um, doing that. And my job behind the scenes was very fulfilling. So, but I think you get stuck in, you know, taking kids to practice and taking kids to school and then the only people you socialize with are your kids' friends' parents. And you start creating a bubble around yourselves. And, and too, with your work, until just recently, we really, we couldn't even have time. His vacation wouldn't even go with what the kids' schedules were. Or it'd be like during a test time, so we really couldn't even take him out. Mm -hmm. And so we'd always be stuck, like, never being able to take a vacation. We didn't take a vacation for, like, 10 years. Yeah. Yeah. Until, until we got our camper and started traveling on the weekends, we did not, we didn't leave because it never worked together because you were new in the company and, mm -hmm. and stuff like that. So it just, it never joined. So we never had that freedom or 
going anywhere and stuff like that. And so I just created a bubble and I was just searching for a bigger, you know, opening that window and opening that door and um, seeing family I haven't seen in a long time and, and meeting new people on the road and hearing stories and, and then going into restaurants and trying new things and um, that's, I, I really love doing that type of stuff, so. Yeah, I think, I think that's, that's great and that's exactly what you're looking for and it sounds mm -hmm. like our journey so far has given that to you, huh? Right, yeah. And I think me on the, on the same hand has given me exactly what I was looking for. I mean, I'm experiencing life rather than just living it and working my way through it you know I'm experiencing new things learning new things teaching my kids new things and you know the kids and I are learning and exploring together along with Talina we're doing all this together and what a great opportunity for them and a great opportunity for me to be able to see things and do things that I've never done but to experience that with them and with with my wife you know so this has been exactly what I was hoping it would be for me and it's given me what I feel like I was missing before, so it's been it's been great in that regard for me. Maybe. Yeah. What um and that all this aside, not to say that this journey has not been without its challenges, right? Oh, for sure. I mean, there's definitely challenges. One of which is being four people in a 27 foot uh, box, pretty much. Mm -hmm. That comes with its own own set of challenges. Well, that and. For the kids and I, since we had been home all the time, Scott coming in and being our lives constantly, I think was our number one challenge. And that's been that's been more of a more of a thing than I think I thought it would be, you know, because I'd, I'd come in on the weekends and the evenings, and they sort of had their whole separate thing that I would swoop into, like I said. But mm -hmm. I think I'm a I'm I have a little bit of an o OCD tendencies about cleanliness and, and dirt and, and structure and structure and so me coming into their their routine and their stuff that they're used to I think and trying not to impose my will trying to give them the freedom and let them live the way that they're used to and not you know coming in with an iron fist and, and trying to impose my will on them that's not what I want You're that's not what, what they want that wouldn't be fun for anybody so that's been, I think, a bigger adjustment, but I feel like, you know, when we were in, in Lafayette a couple weeks ago, I feel like, for me, something clicked when we were there. Mm -hmm. Like, I feel like we got into a good, a good routine. I feel like we were enjoying each other. I feel like I was incorporating well. I wasn't, you guys weren't angry at me. I wasn't angry at you guys. Yeah. I mean, it took a while to get there, mm -hmm. and I feel like we're there. I mean, I don't, I don't want to be a downer for you guys. Oh, I'll tell you if you're not. Though. And you have. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so that's that's been a big adjustment, but I think we're there, don't you, or, or is that just me? Well, I think that's we're always gonna grow on that. Yeah. Like you're always, you know, the kids and I've been doing this for so long that, you know, they're still. I know you still have places, you know, you still have to work on. <laughs> but um, I mean, it's good for it's good for them to still have some structure and and routine in their lives. I mean, no, it, I agree. It and shouldn't just be willy nilly. No, and I agree with that. I wasn't willy nilly. No, I'm not saying you were, but I'm trying to find a happy medium. Yeah. Yeah. But at the same time, we had our own. Like Scott is very structured and how he had things and I would I mean I guess I would cater to that when because you were working and I stayed home and I could you know um, <laughs> but I'm just definitely more I am more nonchalant when it comes to stuff like that I am more right. relaxed I don't care I I'm definitely more free when it comes to well, for like a lot of stuff. I don't care. Well, and see, this is why, I think this is why you and I work well together. Yeah. Because I think we balance each other out. With things I care about that I want structure, he doesn't care. The things that I you care about, I don't care about. Like, it's, 
<laughs> yeah. Well, they're not used to me being the disciplinary, and they're not used to me telling them what to do or holding them accountable for things because I was never there and able to do that. Mm -hmm. So I was always like the fun guy. We joke and tease. So it's hard for them to take me seriously. So that's that's been a challenge and something that all four of us are working on also. Yeah. Yeah. But it, that's what for before we bought our camper, I don't know if I guys say this, that we we went camping before. Yeah. This, and we owned our camper for two years before we decided to take this journey. Yeah, this is how we would vacation and yeah. spend our weekends. Oh yeah, going back to that. Yeah. Um, so this isn't, both growing up doing this, I mean, you grew up a little bit camping, but you didn't like it. So I sold him on the idea of getting a camper. It took me a long time to talk him into it, but that's what I always wanted when I camped. I was like, I'd always see the campers. I'm like, oh, I want a camper. I really wanted like a class A though. I couldn't talk him into that far, but, or well, a class, a class C. I really I liked, wanted one of those. I enjoyed camping when I was a kid, but I just I couldn't enjoy it fully because I'm so OCD about dirt and organization and germs and stuff that I couldn't fully enjoy the experience mm -hmm. but I always did it you know with my my dad and my cousins and my aunt Donna and stuff I always did it but I could never fully immerse myself because I couldn't get to that point where I could just relax, relax and yeah. enjoy it and with you know, with having our home and putting it in a place like this, I can do that. I can have all the things that make me comfortable and be able to clean myself and go down to the lake and fish or go on a hike and come back and take a shower or, you know, those things that make me feel comfortable but also be able to experience mm -hmm. nature in a way that, that I feel like I want to. So with, it, with I mean, with doing this lifestyle, we're able to do be, you know, we could be in Houston two weeks ago and now we're in the middle of Mississippi along a beautiful lake and, you know, we have everything we need. Mm -hmm. So it's pretty cool. Yeah. I think it's, the whole camper thing, I think, if you're not used to it or have done it before, I think challenges are, is it big enough or small enough? Do I have all the stuff I need? And was there a problem with you with having all the stuff that you needed or... Do you think we need bigger? Do we need smaller? Yeah. So I feel good about the space. I mean, I think, I think it, it allows everything we need. I don't feel like there's anything that I wish I had that I don't have with me. I don't, I don't feel like I'm lacking for anything. Um, sometimes I wish that you and I had a little more privacy in sort of our bedroom area. Um, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah, I know what you're saying. <laughs> so that's the only thing, I mean, oh. <laughs> there's not much room between our bedroom and the kids in the back. So that... I mean, yeah, we're living in 20, what, four foot camper? <laughs> 27. 27. So that's the only, only a little more privacy in the bedroom would be nice, but I, I don't feel other than that that we're we're lacking anything do you no and at first I wanted something bigger coming from our house but mm -hmm. um, just because I like room I'm the personality who likes space I like space I like my own space where you don't care as much mm -hmm. um, so I thought I wanted bigger but it's surprisingly how much you're inside outside and if you don't accumulate a lot of stuff but I am the personality that I don't unless it's from my kids. I don't have any sentimental value to any anything. Yeah, I yeah. don't hold value onto stuff, which that made it easy. So I don't think I don't have. I have everything I could possibly need. I still feel like I could probably downsize even more or get rid of stuff, um, which I do. Like I'll go through my stuff and I'll. I'm always getting rid of something. Yeah. I well, and that. I think I think this size is great. I mean, we're we're right at like 30 feet from the hitch to the bumper, so we can get in pretty much anywhere. Yeah, we've had no problems. We have no problems that. getting anywhere. I mean, there's this is a pretty old campground, and there's there's a few spots that we wouldn't be able to fit into, but there's not many that we could fit anything bigger than this in. Right. Which is what we we tend to look at as we kind of go through this, and you know, do we want something bigger or 
we kind of tend to look at the places we like to go and how how something bigger would fit into that. So, um, I think we've kind of touched on everything. There's only one other thing that I have down on here that I kind of don't want to touch on that I feel people might be able to relate to. And sometimes, you know, I'll, like my birthday was last week and I got um, phone calls from, you know, old friends from work or people, old friends back in Montana. And, you know, I told them where we'd been and, and the stuff and places we've been doing. And, the, and um, my friend Dan, who had been, spent some time down in Texas and stuff, was asking me, you know, while we were in Austin, why didn't we go do this? Or why didn't we go see this? Or you should have done this or should have done that. And I kind of have to explain to people, and we kind of have to get in out of this mentality ourselves. You know, this isn't like a 365-day vacation. You know, we can't see and do every single thing, every single place we go. Yeah, we didn't set up ourselves to, to do that. And that's not what we wanted. So, yeah, part of, I mean, part of talking to people back home and is, you know, they think we're just having fun and... We are, though. I mean, we are having fun, but we're not on vacation seeing every single thing everywhere we go. And that's sort of getting the kids out of that, that mode and sort of us, I think, sometimes, too. Because this was our vacation spot and this is how we had fun and how we enjoyed ourselves. Yeah, our camper was, yeah, it was our escape from yeah. just everyday life. So kind of getting, you know, into a place where this is, you know, this is our life. We have to work, we have to do school, we have to have a routine, even though we are doing these other things, has, has been something that we're all, I think, still adjusting to. Overall, I, we're not saying, you know, quit your job and, you know, find, you know, go spend more time with your family. We just had a job, or Scott had a job where he didn't have the time or have the flexibility to be more present with his kids which that's what he wanted and life is too short to not feel fulfilled in life absolutely and I think wherever you get it from you know it's camping or taking a vacation with your kids or I mean whatever it is you know make sure you're always challenging yourself and and checking in and making sure that that's what you want to do um, and you're happy with what you do you know it's communication open up to what you know yeah. you want in life and be clear about it and um, that's good advice in general yeah I mean Scott came to me saying hey you know I'm this chapter in our life I I feel like I've accomplished it and I feel like there's bigger and better things for me out there and this is what I think you know would help me you know feel that fulfillment again and I said okay you know so mm -hmm. this lifestyle might not be for everybody and that's not what we're trying to promote yeah. but it's we're just trying to share our story yeah but this is I mean it's changed our dynamic but at two I think it's also brought us closer together because we are more we're communicating more and being more verbal and I think you've gotten closer with the kids and the kids have gotten closer which I didn't think those two could get any closer than than they already were yeah they yeah. were pretty close yeah but um yeah it's just it's you know, whatever you can do, for us in the beginning, it was camping. Yeah. And it was going out and spending that time together as a family because we couldn't go off and take vacations and fly away. We couldn't afford it. And two, it never worked out in a schedule. So we took advantage of our weekends. Mm -hmm. And I think anything that we're trying to take away or trying to teach other people, you know, is just, for one, communication and two, you know, sit back and make sure you're happy with what you're doing in your life and and the things around you. Yeah. I couldn't have said it better myself, babe. Nice work. Thanks. Thank you for taking time and having an open and honest, real conversation with us. You're welcome. I'll send you my bill. <laughs> I don't know if I can afford you. <laughs> okay, guys, thanks for... Um, joining us. I probably won't put much else in this video. 
today I shot an awesome sunrise so I'll probably put that at the beginning but other than that just hopefully you enjoyed our, we tried to be as open and real and honest as we could so hopefully you enjoy that if you can take something away from it and apply it to your own life that's even better that's all we're trying to do is share our story hopefully inspire some other people um, make sure you're subscribed comment especially on something like this if you enjoy this we'd love to do this more often if you have any questions for us any questions put them down below in the comments we love interacting with that with people the little bit that i've got back i really enjoy it it helps me encourage me to keep doing these videos so i really appreciate those comments um make sure you're subscribed if you're not check out our website if you want to read our journal kind of get the backstory of all of this that's on our website which is down below and other than that go ahead and take a good one See you tomorrow.